Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for the first half of June from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see um, uh, what the possible outcome and advice are. What else do you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about Capricorn in love. Capricorn in love. Over energies for Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for the first half of their June from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Also, you got you guys, uh, if you're interested in following me on TikTok and Instagram, I have been posting readings on there. The links for those are in the description box below. I think I already said that already, but uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Nine of, Wand Nine of Wands. Oh, um, you're being chased here. Uh, and I do feel like this is an individual that's really attracted to you. They're definitely getting a thrill out of the chase here, okay? I do feel like this could be a newer person that's coming into your life that you might have met at work or just like a, at a random outing here. Knight of Pe Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, no, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here. Uh, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Hangman here and the Page of Wands. Mm. Be careful of this individual. They're very in and out. Yeah, I don't feel like this person's really looking for anything serious. This person's only in it for the thrill of the chase here, okay? So uh, a Pisces energy with the Hangman, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, King of Pentacles here, and the Emperor. I feel like there are two masculines here and then one feminine. Um, there's a bit of a showdown here. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like a duel where like I feel like these two individuals are trying to fight for you here okay the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the uh emperor here aries energy the uh, nine of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles the knight of wands here and the five of swords yeah you're definitely dealing with two people here i feel like they're trying to win you over i feel like they're trying to like you know trying to seal the deal here with you whoever these two individuals are they're definitely seeing Higher levels of commitment here. So I feel like these two individuals are really passionate about you here, okay? Um, you know, I feel like it's a, it's a bit of a dance, a bit of a game here. Uh, the hangman here, we have the high priestess, we have the page of wands here and the seven of pentacles. If there are two options here for you, Capricorn, make sure you trust your intuition here. Make sure you watch what these people are doing. Make sure their actions are matching their words here. Because like I said, um, these two masculines are coming in, but they're behaving a bit immature here. But uh, in actuality, they're really immature. Their immaturity is coming out because I feel like they they, they really want to be with you here. And you have a decision to make between two people here. The King of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor here and the Eight of Wands. My, my. Capricorn, I feel like you're, you're, you've gone through a dry period where maybe you haven't been dealing with anyone. But I... <laughs> I feel like it's gonna become really wet here, okay? Uh, I do feel like you have two individuals that are coming in um, and, and, and you're receiving a lot of communication from these individuals here. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with or, uh, the, or the person that Capricorn is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn here? Uh, you might have a better chance with that emperor there. Uh, because, you know, I feel like you're showing up as a pre-empress here. So, you know, that emperor is a more mature energy. They have their life together here, you know. So let's see. We have the Six of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Lovers here and the Sun here. And then we have the Hermit here and the King of Pentacles. We have the Kings and Queen of Pentacles here. Um, this is, Whoever you're dealing with here, this is an individual. Or these two individuals are looking to have higher levels of commitment here with you. They want to move forward. 
They want to be in harmony here with you. They want to be together here with you. They want to be happy here with you. But I feel like because of all this that's going on, I feel like you you went into hermit mode here. It's like, oh man, this is too much. I can't deal with this right now. You know, I feel like you're being, you feel overwhelmed by the situation here. The hermit Virgo energy, queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the six of swords here and the two of swords, ace of pentacles here and the moon. Yeah, so maybe this is more so your energy here where you have a decision to make between these two individuals. But I feel like no decisions being made here because maybe you fear hurting someone's feelings here. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, the lovers here, and the nine of wands, the sun card here, and the judgment card, Sagittarius energy. You might be in love with two people here, perhaps. If that's, if that's not the case, you know, I just feel like you might have interest in both of these individuals and you just have a decision to make here. Yeah, you just have a decision to make here. Regarding this situation here, like I said, with the Nine of Wands here, you're overwhelmed. The Hermit, the King of Wands. How many people are you talking to here, Capricorn? And the Nine of Swords. There are three people here, by the way. Yeah, um, this is a bit of a showdown. This is a bit of a showdown. They're trying to, these three masculines are definitely trying to get you to choose them here. It's like a triple threat. It's almost like, you know, it's like a wrestling match here. Whoever wins, you know, sort of like wins you sort of thing. Um, so tell me about the outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation. What else does Capricorn need to know, look out for, work on here for uh, the first half of their June? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Five of Cups here and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Knight of Swords here and the Ten of Swords. Uh, we have the Six of Wands here and the Star card. I mean, there's someone here that, that it could be a past energy here. Yeah, um, whoever this is, this person's in deep regret that they didn't put an effort here. Uh, it could be that King of Pentacles here. And I feel like that Emperor and that King of Wands might be, you know, new people here. Yeah, whoever this is, there is someone here that has hurt you here. I mean, that King of Pentacles could be that energy of wanting to heal this connection here. You know, wanting victory and success here with you, wanting to give this another go. If anything, you're Capricorn, you're more interested in these new people. Like I said, there are two new people here. Um, I think, I feel like it's this Emperor and the King of Wands here. And I feel like you might have a better chance with the Emperor here because that Emperor is a little, like really, really, really mature energy. Kind of like, you know, an energy of someone here that's, you know, in a higher state of consciousness here. Five of Cups here and the Ace of Wands, the Magician here and the Three of Wands here. We have someone here that, you know, perhaps they're not seeing a future here with you or that they can't see a future without you. So I feel like they want a new beginning here. Knight of Swords here and the world. The Ten of Swords here and the, yeah. So we definitely have someone here that's coming back around or that they're having a hard time moving on without you here. Yeah, they're having a hard time moving on without you. The Six of Wands, the Devil, Star, and the Fool, Aries Energy, Aquarius Energy. One of the things I'm getting here, I do feel like you might be distancing yourself from the situation because I feel like it's becoming toxic. Or that you just don't want any, anybody and you're just kind of like going off your, on your own and doing your own thing here. But yeah, I feel like there's a huge showdown that's about to happen here. Yeah. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.